Hello, thank you for your interest in taking this self-paced course for Aware New Navigation. This is the Performance and Accountability team. We'd be more than happy to help you with any and all troubleshooting issues with Aware, online testing, assessment creation, data analysis, or student goal setting. You can reach us all as one group by emailing panda at neisd.net or sending us a group Teams message, including all members of the team on the group. The learning intention for this course is we are learning best practices for using Aware, Edgeforia Aware's new view. And these are the success criteria, the different elements of the self-paced course that we will be using and learning today. We'll begin by learning how to navigate to students' profiles so that you can update forms, find students in special programs, as well as review their online supports. Then you'll learn how to initially create assessments within the new navigation of Aware as well as find more support related to creating assessments. After that, we will continue on to how do we begin to administer an assessment in AWARE and also learn more about where to find more support. And then finally, we will end by reviewing how to analyze data within AWARE in the new navigation. The purpose of new AWARE is to get you the information you need in fewer clicks. When you first log in to new AWARE, you are going to see the overview page. The purpose of the overview page is to help you find a couple of key features of AWARE that you might frequently be using a little bit faster. For example, you can immediately go to the Quick View section and see data for your students, the most recently scored tests for your students. It's important to note that this will take you to the old Quick View section, which is not the new dynamic single test analysis that you'll learn about later in these series of videos. Another important feature you might want to access readily is the ability to create new assessments. Clicking this button, you can immediately go to creating a new assessment or copying a previously used assessment. You can also access your most recently visited assessments in this assessment section. This will likely help you find your most recently created assessments and prevent you from losing them. In this course, you are going to be learning a lot about uh, the new Panda Google site and all of the features that it has in order to help you with aware new navigation. But there are a couple helpful Panda site features that I wanna point out that are not gonna be covered in this course that I would encourage you to explore at a later time. To access all of the Panda site features, they're gonna, you're gonna to go to the launch pad and click on the orange aware folder. One of the new helpful Panda site features is aware online testing software status. If you are experiencing any issues with AWARE online testing, I encourage you to click on this software status. And right at the top, it'll tell you what is our current Edgeforia software status that, as far as the Panda team knows. Um, you'll see the status, you'll see recommended actions, and then whether or not to contact P Panda. Another option that you cannot get to through the launch pad, but all of the, pretty much all of the links will take you to our entire Google site is the professional development page. On this page, you're gonna find all of the course materials. You'll find this Google Slides that I'm using in order to present this self-paced course to you, as well as other presentations that we have put together on this site. There's also a DEUA tab that can give you lots of different frequently asked questions and resources in regards to district assessments. Don't forget about student goal setting. It is a great process to bring your students into the data conversation about how are they doing this year and what do they need to work on this school year in order to improve. In order to receive credit for this course, you must watch all videos outlined in this course, complete all assignments within the Google quiz, and receive a passing score on the quiz. You will be notified immediately of your score on the quiz. If you do not receive a passing score on the quiz, you may review previous video content in this course and then retake the quiz. Be aware that the email with the score notification on the quiz may go to your spam or junk email folder.